Ben Joltska, I'll be portraying Cassius from Julius Caesar, Acts 1, Scene 2. <coughs> Brutus, I do observe you now, Lynn. Tell me, good Brutus, can you see your face? It is very much lamented, Brutus, that you have no such mirrors as will turn your hidden worthiness into your eye, that you might see your shadow. I have heard where many of the best respect in Rome, except immortal Caesar, speaking of Brutus and groaning underneath this aged yoke, have wished that noble Brutus had his eyes. Therefore, good Brutus, be prepared to hear. And since you know you cannot see yourself so well as by reflection, I, your glass, will modestly discover to yourself that of yourself which you yet know not of. I know that virtue be in you, Brutus, as well as I can know your outward favor. Well, honor is the subject of my story. I cannot tell what you and other men think of this life, but for my single self, I had as weak not be, as live to be in awe of such a thing as I myself. I was born free as Caesar. So were you. We both have fed as well, and we can both endure the winter's cold as well as he. And this man is now become a god. And Cassius is a wretched creature, and must bend his body if he's a carelessly but not on him. Why man doth bestride the narrow world, like a colossus? And we petty men walk under his huge legs and peep about to find ourselves dishonorable graves. Men are at some times masters of their fates. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in the stars, but in ourselves that we are underneath. Brutus and Caesar, what should be in that Caesar? Why should that name be sounded more than yours? Write them together. Yours is as fair a name. Sound them. It doth become them out as well. Weigh them. It is as heavy. Call you with them. Brutus will start a spirit as soon as Caesar. And now, in the names of all the gods at once, upon what meat does this our Caesar feed that he has grown so great? Age, thou art shamed. Rome, thou hast lost the breed of noble bloods. One went there by an age since the great flood, but it was famed with more than with one man. When could they say till now that talked of Rome that her wide walls encompassed but one man. Now it is Rome indeed, and room enough when there is in it but one only man. You and I have heard our fathers say, there was a Brutus once that would have brooked the eternal devil to keep his state in Rome, as easily as a king 